What's up y'all, Billy the Kid here back with another good one. And today we decided to bring back the Hellcat. If you watched my video on the Hellcat, we did a review on this, a, a, really a comparison um, as far as how is it for an EDC carry option. Um, so what we found was awesome gun, awesome ergonomics. Um, it can You can handle it really well, um, manage the recoil and all. But in my opinion, my opinion, this trigger needs a little work. It's like to be desired simple fix but let me show you what it does so if you put sideways pressure on the trigger and pull it to the rear okay the safety engages which is fine it should engage if you don't have your finger on this lever and you go to depress the trigger it should not go off but what my problem is is if you pin this trigger to the rear and then try to disengage the blade safety it isn't going to happen so if you put sideways pressure on this trigger and go to pull to the rear and then start trying to depress, you can't. I'm squeeze, squeeze, squeezing right now and that blade is not gonna depress and allow this gun to fire. Now, I got trolled tremendously by closed-minded individuals. We're gonna talk about that and have a little discussion, but uh, I don't care about your opinions. I made my video to share my opinion, you know, out don't get me wrong to the people that care to have a debate and an open discussion I do want to hear your opinions but to people that are just closed-minded and fanboys so to speak uh, I want to I want to talk a little more to y'all so here is an XDS the triggers on these guns are almost identical okay see that trigger see this trigger now Watch the XDS, okay? Putting plenty of pressure on. I got it pinned to the rear. So it will not depress because I'm not touching the safety. But the moment I start applying pressure to that safety, guess what? My gun goes off. The Hellcat will not do that. Okay? XDM. All these guns, clean and clear. I usually do that in the beginning. You know, I do it before I even start filming in case you don't watch this channel. But anyways, check it out. So here's the trigger. I got it pinned to the rear, but I'm not touching the safety, so it's not gonna go off. But guess what? If I pin the trigger to the rear, I got it pinned to the rear, and I start touching that blade, oh, the gun goes off. Hellcat will not do that, okay? So for all the trolling that came at me, for, for all the comments, you know, do you even shoot, you know? I shot several hundred rounds out of that gun that day, never had a hiccup. I, I know how to get my finger on a trigger and shoot a target. I shoot steel at 100 yards with this 22 right here all day long, you know? I teach pistol courses. So, you know, you can question my ability, that's fine. I don't, I, none of that bothers me. Matter of fact, the trolling y'all did on that episode made that my best video. It's got over 20,000 views, you know? Like, I really appreciate y'all. That engagement, those comments, that bumped me up. But I need to let other viewers know coming in and they see these comments and they see things going on. Y'all are being really, really closed-minded, okay? Guns get recalled all the time. I said the word recall and some of y'all freaked out like you're on Springfield's payroll. My first three guns were Springfield's, okay? I too was a fanboy. I have their stickers on my rear windshield. I kind of need to go scrape off. They're getting a little old, okay? But I did gain knowledge and wisdom and, and you know, got with people that knew more than me and I learned, you know, they're not the greatest gun in the world. Not saying they're bad. They're a viable option compared to a Glock or Smith & Wesson, okay? But my point being is, is they're manufactured. It, 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 they come off of a line. Cars get recalled. Appliances get recalled. Everything in any phase of manufacturing can experience a recall because it just wasn't right off the line. So I'll give you a couple examples. This gun here, it had a safety recall. It got a safety recall, I had to send it in. It was a brand new gun, plenty of development. It's fourth generation, okay? Here's you another example. Savage B Mag, Winchester Super Magnum. The, the handle and cocking mechanism in here. It was recalled, they sent me another one, I had to change it out. Guess what else is getting recalled? Glock 44s. Glock's known for reliability, but they make a 22 and it's an egg on their face. It's blowing out extractors and cracking slides. You know, guess what else? Colt. 
Gold sells very high dollar, very fine firearms, have for over 100 years. And they had guns at 2020 SHOT Show, revolvers. You know, wheel guns are supposed to be the epitome of dependability. They wouldn't even fire on the line. And they're brand new, like $1,500 revolvers. So the next time I share my opinion with you and you think about trolling on me, you know, why don't you open your mind a little bit and, and recognize that there's nothing perfect in this world and we should always be looking at every single thing that we're dealing with, especially when it comes to something that you defend your life with. I'm not saying that this gun would let you down, but because the possibility is there for this to happen, what I'm talking about, okay, to where you cannot depress this blade and you cannot make this gun go off, that is dangerous to me. You know, that's, that's, that's room for Murphy's Law. What can go wrong will go wrong. And we know there's no such thing as a perfect gunfight. Y'all pointed that out. But I would hate for a, a person that has never carried, never took a course, nothing. They told, they are told, that is the EDC gun to get. That is the one to go with. They buy that gun, they stick it in a holster, they carry it, and they feel protected. And when the one moment they may have needed it, and because they were like so many that don't train and don't shoot, they couldn't get that gun to protect them. That's what I do not want to happen. So, um, you know, there's my opinion. Let's jump into the fix. Don't forget to subscribe for a chance at our giveaway brought to you in part by Pelican State Armory and Supplies, a proud supporter of this channel. Check out their website in the description below where you can use coupon code TGS2020 to save a bundle. All right, I'm pretty confident I got my, my camera angle set up to where I can give y'all a really good visual of what I'm trying to uh, achieve here. So, I have the Springfield Hellcat here, and what we're trying to do is right there, that edge, that sharp edge of the blade safety where my fingertip meets. There. We're going to try and smooth that over so as that meets the back wall there, if you apply enough pressure on the lever, that leverage will allow that beveled edge to slide up with this being pressed back. All right, basically, we're going to take what our XDS trigger looks like and mimic that. Now, what I'll be using is just a small needle file. And because it's small, I can get in here and I can work that edge with the trigger on the gun. So um, as far as taking the trigger assembly and off of it and all that, you know, I'm gonna try and avoid all that. Um, so moving along, all I wanna do is I wanna take this needle file and I want to just slightly bevel this edge, all right? So let me get in there and, and see what I can accomplish. We're not trying to remove a lot of media. We're not trying to, um, you know, take this edge away completely. We're just trying to smooth it over and, and just give it a slight little curve, slight little rounded beveled edge, okay? So, and this shouldn't take, look, we might be done. This should not take a whole lot of effort. I have it pressed to the rear, lots of pressure, lots of pressure. Okay, still, still kind of hard. All right, see, we're starting to get a little curl to that edge. All right, I'm pressed to the rear. Now I'm going to start trying to press this blade. Press, 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 press. We're still pressing really hard. That's all we're going to do. We're going to just keep beveling this edge. Burying my fingertip into this thing and it is hurting my fingertips and it just shouldn't be that hard. It should not. Don't, don't pull a file out and, and go ham on your trigger and then come back to my comment section saying I steered you wrong. This is uh, something that should be done very, very little, my, minute amounts at a time until you get what you're looking for. Now we're starting to get a little something. Okay, I'm still having to apply a, a fair amount of pressure. Sorry about the camera shake, y'all. But it is getting better, definitely getting better. Uh, 
my goal is once I have my finger going to the trigger and I'm pressing the trigger to the rear, I want to be able to just continue wrapping that finger trigger around and it's going to go off. See before, with one finger, one hand, I'd pull to the rear and then curl the, my pad around onto the blade like I'm doing now and it wouldn't go off. It's starting to go off now. See what I'm doing there, how I'm applying pressure without touching the safety lever? And then I'm rotating my pad of my finger around and seeing how much pressure is it taking after I've already put that tension on that trigger to get this to release. Uh, It's almost, it's, it's right there, y'all. I'm gonna do just a little bit more on it and then I'm gonna call this done. So, let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Uh, please like and subscribe to this video. I have a big giveaway that I'll be doing for my thousand subscriber right now. We're just right over 900. So, definitely by the release of my next video, there will be some lucky winner that's gonna get an awesome giveaway. So, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Uh, I hope, you know, this fix helps y'all out. And like I said, don't be closed minded. All right, pressure to the rear. It's turn, 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 turn. It's still pretty difficult, y'all. You can see the rounded we put on there. You know, it went from sharp to just curling it over. The key here is just to be patient, take your time, do a little at a time, and keep checking it. And get that nice beveled edge there. Pin to the rear, curl around, boom. That's what we're looking for. Curl around, boom, curl around. All right, so what did we achieve? Is it still a safety? Is it still a trigger safety? Yes, if I press the trigger to the rear and I'm not touching the blade safety, the trigger is not going to, to go off. If I press the trigger to the rear and then start applying pressure to my blade safety, boom, the gun's gonna go off. We need that to happen. All right, to the rear, going around, it's gonna go off. Going around, it's gonna go off. That's what we were looking for, folks. If, if we don't have a perfect trigger press and we're still fighting to get our finger around that trigger while we're trying to squeeze it, we need that, that safety to disengage. And we have finally, after a little bit of filing, achieved that. There we go. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. I appreciate y'all. Please like and subscribe. You know, check out my other video on this, the comparison. Uh, you know, and, and subscribe for that giveaway. You know, and share with your friends. I mean, just just help me grow. Love y'all. Thank you. Bye.